Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Danielle here. So today I've got my August flip through of my Hobonichi cousin. So I've been using this for memory planning and journaling and some to-do lists, um, but I'm kind of transitioning it mostly into uh, memories and journaling. Um, I've realized that I like having my whole week being able to see like seeing my whole week and figuring out what I need to do when on that kind of spread. But I do like having something for memories, which um, it is nice to have this little chunky guy here um, for memories and journaling all in one place. So um, I haven't changed anything in the front. Um, still have some Aesthetic Studio and some Planner Monkey Co. stickers up here. Um, I have been using these little tags on my or little dot stickers and tag stickers, I guess, um, in my monthly spreads for uh, my bills. So I won't be showing that because I do have prices and stuff that I prefer not to share on the internet. Again, nothing's really changed here. Um, and then, so yeah, I just filled in my August um, habits and then I started I'm a little bit late getting my um, flip through this time just because we were away for a little bit um, so we were gone over the first part of the month but here is this first week I love the washi that I used for this week this was a uh, fresh botanicals happy planner washi tape and then I paired it with some stickers from um, oh what's it called Chrissy Ann Designs so just a lot of memories it's a lot of um, unless it's a, like an appointment, I try not to use too many boxes in my weekly spreads, which I kind of like. Um, I had gotten some washi tape from the washi tape shop as a sampler in one of the Made in Canada sales. So I paired it with um, some more Christian Designs date covers and boxes and a lot of other deco. This washi up here is from Once More With Love and then a weekend banner from the Prairie Planner. If you have any questions about any of the stickers that I'm using in the spreads, be sure to hit me up in the comments below. There's a lot of different shops in here, so it's kind of tricky to point them all out. Again, sample washi. I finished it up and it didn't cut properly down here, but I'm not too fussy about that. And then as you can see, I managed to use quite a bit of my foil stash, which I'm very proud of. I need to do that again, um, like find a washi tape with some foil and just kind of use up as much foil as possible because I've been really bad at using my foil. And this was the last full week of August. So like I had mentioned, we were actually gone, oh, not this week, that's the week after. We had extra things to do this week that I had boxes for, and that's okay. Um, now this box, it doesn't actually fit properly. As you can see, it's overlapping on both sides because it's um, 1.5, inches instead of the 1.3 like the Hobonichi cousin but I'm okay with that I I don't mind if it's like sticking out on the spine or like on this side this side's a little bit iffy but yeah so I do have some Hobonichi cousin boxes that I'm using up as well so that's kind of how I roll and oh that's just my page for pen marks so this is the last week of August and into September I did a fairly like summery kind of washi tape spread this washi is from paper bits go I love it so much and that's because we went to um on a holiday to Port Renfrew for my mom's 60th or my mother-in-law's 60th um birthday so that was really exciting um and we just had a fantastic time with family. Like, it was just so, so lovely. So, let's flip over to the daily spreads. Now, fair warning, I do flip through these pretty quick just because it is my personal journal. As you can see, I did have some to-do lists. A short one here, short one here. A reminder here. More to-do lists. So, low energy that day. And I did move my emojis a day to my daily spreads. I love these stickers, by the way. Um, and I kept it more simple sometimes. Um, so, I did move my munchkin a day into my daily spreads because I have more room for them here. Um, I think there's going to be some days I did not journal this day. I put my verse of the day. I didn't journal. And you know what? I'm realizing that that's okay. That is a okay. I didn't even do my meal plan that day. That's how 
that's how it was and that's okay um yeah so a lot of fun i did a rainbow spread starting here so this was the red and there's the orange and the yellow green blue um this one's technically supposed to be indigo and then that's supposed to be violet but you know that's okay um and these ones i believe i just used happy planner stickers this month yeah, I was trying to get through some of my stash. Um, yeah, so I was just trying to get through some of my stash. Okay, so let's see. Um, so I, I um, don't think I fully explained. I'm just going to scooch this out of the way a little bit. Um, so for these cover pages, I'm waiting for some Made in Canada sale. Oh, there's a spread from last week. <laughs> from this week. Oh, that's fun. Um... I'm waiting for a habit tracker from Alley Cat's shop that I'm probably going to be adding in here. Um, but for the most part, this is just a decoration page. And then I do add what orders I have coming. So I just have my Planner Monkey Co. order coming um, for my monthly sub. And then open orders, I haven't checked them off yet. So I've got a couple waiting here. And I think there's one waiting, a pre-sale order in July. So I am trying to go for a lower spend in September. Um, I know there's a couple sales coming up um, pretty soon, but um, I'm also, I also have some pre-planning for like October and stuff. So be sure to come back. I might be doing some filming of some of those spreads. So be sure to come back for that. But that was my super, super, super quick flip through of August. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, because my journal is fairly personal um well it's my journal so I hope it would be um I do uh flip through pretty quick so I hope you guys don't mind but it's fun to show you the spreads after they're done I will be starting to again do some filming of um daily spreads as I decorate them so I think that'll be good and then I'm hoping to get my Erin Condren back up and uh, start planning again for I think I'm into October for where I need to plan so Hopefully I will have some more videos coming up soon. Um, our schedule is changing a bit because my son is starting kindergarten next week. So that's exciting. Um, but I'm really hoping to get into a routine of filming when my husband's at work, like tonight, and the kids are in bed. So if that stays the way it is, I will have more content, which is exciting. So if you like that video, or if you like this video, hit that like button. And if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. I've noticed I've gotten a few new followers, so thank you so much for all the support, and I hope to see you guys later. Bye!